Hello everyone, Captain Gravy here. Welcome to the next Fishing Planet Guide. Today we're going to be covering crankbaits. Now, what you need to know about crankbaits. Crankbaits range in sizes of depth and hook size. So the smallest being 3 foot depth and the largest being 10 times that amount, 30 foot depth. So it all depends on what lake you're fishing at. You got to match the depth of where you're at to the crankbait you're using. Now crankbaits are fairly expensive, so I would suggest using tough line or line you basically know and guarantee the safety of your crankbait that it won't get lost. I've had some times where I use the incorrect, I use too light of line just to make it more interesting and lost crankbaits doing that because of the fish. Just if you get a big one on the line. It can pull it out, and you'll never see your $5,000 again because the fish took them with the crankbait. So definitely be sure to keep your crankbaits in good safety with high pound line. Not ridiculous, but you, you just got to ensure the safety of your crankbait. I have no idea what that cast was. Anyway. So cast your crankbait basically as far as you can get it and just do a solid straight retrieve uh, if your crankbait is really shallow like mine I'd say 3 to 12 feet is a shallow crankbait uh, I would say just reel in straight maybe stop halfway through whatever but for deeper ones you can kind of use them as a multi-purpose like depth like say if you have a 30 feet and you're at the white moose lake which is the deepest lake in fishing planet there we go got something what you would do is you would stop every now and then like more frequently than just halfway through just because there can be fish above you because there's such a huge difference in depth to this lake whereas this lake probably has 10 feet at its max where I'm fishing at least and white moose is 30 easily plus more considering 30 feet can't even reach the bottom so it also depends on temperature fish will be deeper especially this doesn't really apply to the summer environments but mostly to the winter environments like the white moose lake you want to use the deepest crankbait you can if it's really like just bone chilling cold outside. Uh, you just got to consult your graph on the side. And this is a bad example because it's warm out here obviously. And you just got to go for the deepest crankbait you can afford or the deepest crankbait you have depending on the temperature in the winter environments. So if it's I'm trying to think. I think 17 degrees is the coldest I've seen it in Alberta. Maybe that's just, don't know if my memory serves me right. But 30 degrees is a warmer day in Alberta. So that's like a pretty warm day. So you could use 23 foot or whatever because that's where the fish would be active. But it's if it's colder than that, I'd say use a 30 foot crankbait. It also depends on the type of species you're after. Different species like to hang out at different depths. So it just really all depends on what you're going for and how cold it is outside. And that's especially true for the winter environments. But other than that, crankbaits are super simple to use. Especially for the shallow ones that just stop like halfway through or whatever. Because there's only so much depth that a six foot crankbait's going to cover just by going up. So unless it's a super deep crankbait, I wouldn't really bother stopping at all. Unless you're getting close to the bottom like this, you can just do stopping increments to keep it not scraping against the bottom to avoid a potential snag. So that's about it. That's how you use your crankbait. It's super simple. They're fish magnets. They take basically all the stress of managing different lures away they are a pretty good they might not be as effective as specialized lures for different types of fish but 
a, generally they're a good variety of like a broad range of fish they catch ranging from bass to even tarpon and salmon like crankbaits as well so just a huge variety of fish you can catch it's more of a jack of all trades more than anything not a specialized lure in any way so i hope you guys enjoyed this rate if you liked it uh, dislike it that's fair enough just tell me what you didn't like and constructive criticism is always welcome and i'll catch you guys in the next fishing planet guide catch you next time